G'day guys. Today I'm back on the Swiss ball with the alternating Superman for core stability. Let's have a look and see how it's done. Okay, so with this one, the setup was with the torso on the apex of the ball. The hands are at about shoulder width. They can be narrow if you want more of a challenge. The, the main thing with this exercise is it's linking the uh, upper body to the lower body through the posterior oblique sling. So that runs from, you know, let's, let's look at the video here, the left lat through to the right glute. And when we come up on this side, it's now, now linking the right side of the body, the right lat through the thoracolumbar fascia into the left glute. So really, really good for spinal stability. As you lift off the opposite arm and opposite leg, you want the ball and the torso to stay really, really still. All right, the ball is generally going to be a smaller ball than you'd use for a lot of other Swiss ball exercises and the firmer it's pumped up, the harder the exercise is going to be because the ball has less contact with the floor. The upper body part of the movement is just like a trap three exercise. So you must hold thoracic extension and you, you drop, you bat, you're pushing the shoulder back down into the hip and you're lifting the arm with the lower trap. So consciously trying to squeeze the glute and, and the opposite lower and mid traps at the top on the breath in and as you lower back down, breathe out and repeat. So counting reps isn't important. It's more about just you know improving how stable you feel with the exercise, which is normally gonna take two or three sets at least to warm up the nervous system through this pattern if you haven't done it before. And then with repeated, repeated practice, you're sure to improve. Cheers guys.